Hello, Monty here. Back again, just making sure this video is working. Sound is on. We are back with the next installment, the next song, the easiest guitar ever. And uh, we're going to do London Bridges. And uh, we're going to use our basic uh, notes that uh, we have C, first finger on the B string or the second string, third finger on the D, E open, F at first fret, G on the third, and then A on the fifth. <clears throat> and I say this uh, at the beginning of every video. If you haven't done it yet, go back and watch the intro video where I explain all the finger numbers, the fret numbers, and all the names of the notes and uh, how to hold the pick and um, beginner guitar stuff uh, so you can play all these songs. Okay, so uh, here we go with no further ado, London Bridges. We're going to start on the G this time. Now one thing I mentioned in the key of, um, all these songs are in the key of C, uh, and they're labeled that way on the video title, but so in the key of C, uh, normally most songs are going to start with C. That's probably the most popular note to start with. Uh, e it would be a close second or equally as popular, and then G, those three notes are the most popular notes. Uh, that songs start on within the key of C. So <clears throat> that's one thing to remember when you're trying to memorize these songs, which note it starts on. It'll uh, help you get you started and hear, hear the melody right. So London Bridges starts on G, and then it goes G, A, G, F, That's the first lick. That's the London Bridges are falling down. So A, G, F, E, F, G. Now that's pretty easy. That's all on one string. Now the next one is our good buddy D. And out of all these notes, I think usually, I mean, so getting to A is difficult for everybody, but D is tricky because of the E changing strings and so getting the D and then getting back to the C fast enough so um, the second part of the lick is D E F so London Bridges falling down and then on the D and then E again E F G and then G, A, G, F, E, F, G, and then roll. We've done this, and I uh, skipped to my loo. So it's D, roll to G, E, C. And again, finger close to the fret wire. And then being able to roll this finger without going flat fingered, uh, completely on the G, but going from D to G, being able to hop back and forth. So uh, here it is all the way through from the beginning again. <clears throat> G, A, G, F, E, F, G. That's the first piece. And then D, E, F, and then E. Okay, and then G, A, G, F, E, F, G, and then roll, D, G, E, C. Okay, so now here it is in rhythm, okay? I'm going to take it slow. About one, two, ready, go. Okay, 
Now let's see. London Bridge is falling down, falling down. Maybe about that speed, okay? That's a, that's about you know what you might do um, do it at a kind of a fast. So get your fingers ready on the G. Okay, one, two, ready, go. Okay, and again right here, C, D, E, F, G, A, G, F, E, D, C. Those are our basic six notes. I mean basic five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, yes, six. And then open B, back to C. And just with those notes alone, we can play hundreds and hundreds of songs. And um, my goal of this uh, series is to record as many as I can do um, to help you uh, develop your vocabulary of melodies and to be able to get your fingers moving and build your speed up uh, so you can start to play songs on the radio and to be able to eventually be able to play with other people and um, develop your sense of rhythm and everything. So. Okay, thanks a lot for being here uh, once again. This is the, uh, the easiest guitar lessons ever. Uh, no chords, only single notes. Uh, I do have a section on my website uh, on the YouTube channel uh, that covers chords. So uh, if you want to uh, jump in there, feel free to start working on those. <clears throat> But uh, this is for single notes, and, and most of the time I've, I've taught hundreds of students, and uh, most people fall into two categories. You either um, uh, uh, can pick up the guitar and immediately start playing chords and fretting more than one note and have the natural speed and finger strength and coordination to do that, or you don't. And if you don't, many people don't. And uh, the, those who don't, uh, usually what I recommend is learning the single string method. So you develop coordination. We're learning all the notes. And then we're going to learn, like I said, hundreds of melodies using only six, seven, eight, maybe nine, ten notes sometimes. But um, it's amazing, really thousands. So uh, we'll see how long I can make this video series go. But uh, this is all beginner level. I'm going to take it really slow. Um, and if you need any more help, um, feel free to contact me in the comment sections. I do do Skype lessons, uh, so we could do some one-on-one, -on -one, face to face. I could watch you play and help you out and help you progress. And um, <clears throat> so, um, if also please check out my website www.montycraig.com. And uh, once again, thank you again for being here, and uh, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.